All right, in this video, we're going to look at uh, inserting some pages while we're updating our documents. In this particular instance, the architect didn't add anything onto an existing page. He issued new sheets, and so we're going to bring that into our drawings. So first thing that we're going to do is, is open up the drawings that we're going to be inserting everything into. I've got it filed under my contract documents, my live documents, and it's going to be the architectural sheet. If you look on the pages, what we have here is the architect has done this before on some of these individual sheets. Those actually got voided out, but this last one, it was an eight and a half by 11 sheet that we just attached to the very bottom of the, of the file and then made reference to it. So we're going to be doing the same thing in this, in this video. Uh, they've added two more sheets. So let's just for simplicity's sake, let's open those two sheets. It's under the contract documents and they've issued it electronically for us, so that's pretty good. Open those two up and we have those both there. They're both eight and a half by 11 sheets. You can see that down there, eight and a half by 11 sheets. So the easiest way to do it, there's probably two ways that you can do it. You could do it, you know, from the pages sheet. You can right click and then click copy pages, come to your architectural sheet try to get down there toward the bottom, right click again, and then hit paste page. And it should drop it in there, right there. An easier way to do that, let's go ahead and delete that. An easier way to do that is, is in the file that we want to be in, be in the architectural, just right click somewhere in that uh, vicinity, click insert pages. And since we have those two files open, just click add open files, and it'll put it in the order. You can adjust the order if you want the first one or second one. Go over here to where you want it after or before so you can tell it what page you want it. So I want it after the last page. Leave that checked. Click OK and it brings both of those files in. So there's a quick way that we got those in. Get rid of these. We don't need them anymore so we just brought them in. Now we need to create our hyperlinks and, and make sure that the drawings are coming to it. If you notice these drawings on this drawing or the next drawing they're brand new sheets. There never was any uh, sheet that we could have uh, updated to. Let's go to our, so like it's a reflected ceiling plan. This is a type of a roof quasi reflected ceiling plan. So if we go to a roof plan, it doesn't fit here or here or here. I know you're not seeing all this in great detail, but take my word for it. It doesn't fit in these drawings. So what we need to do is somehow make reference to it. So when the people out in the field see these drawings, they actually know there was a change somewhere in the area and that they need to go look for it. So in this one, what the architect did was they had to add a roof inside of our structure because this turns out to be a porous structure. They're adding a roof right inside here on top of this architectural feature. So the roofing is going to be inside there. I don't want to update anything in here because there's a call out button that takes us to a closer detail, which is this one. So I want to update it here. The thing with this is there's really no good cut and paste method that we want to put on this one because the sheets that they issued were a reflected ceiling plan or a roof plan, if you will. So the only thing that we want to do on this is, is try to copy this format that we did before. We had this as an update, we just did a call out and then we did a hyperlink to it. So let's do the same thing with those two new sheets that we just added. Let's go over here to our cloud, bring it in, drop it in. Let's keep it as green because if we keep everything as red, it'll become confusing what was really added, what wasn't. So we're going to keep that one green. And hey, let's just use something that we've already done before. Grab that, bring it up here, point to it zoom in, let's change our description, it was PR number 11, and it was roofing. Okay, so there we go. Now we've just updated this sheet. Let's create a hyperlink to point us back to that, um, to that sheet. Go over here to the hyperlink button, let's go over the whole thing, and then we want to take it to a page. If we remember, that was the last pages, I believe it was 16. So we want this one to be page 17. Click OK. It'll go to full sheet. Now let's test it. Let's hit the escape key and let's test it. 
number 18, there we go, page number 17, and here's where we're at. So that took us to, to page sheet 18. Now let's make sure that these are updated. Normally, since they're on the same sheet, we wouldn't really have to hyperlink this to here because this is the detail that it's referring to. But it's always nice to, if we have a call out for the superintendents out in the field to know that if there's a hyperlink call out, it's gonna go somewhere. So let's go ahead and let's just do that. Let's create a hyperlink. Uh, let's see, and right here, click on that. Let's give it a, uh, let's get a rectangle that we're going to do. All right, and then let's just say that that's okay. Let's hit escape, let's try it. There, it went, okay, hit our back button. Now this one, A12, is actually going to our second sheet. If we come here, it's going to this detail. So let's create that hyperlink. But let's create that hyperlink in a little different way. Let's go back to our sheet that we had, click on our links, and then click in Add Place. So this is going to ask us for the same thing. Let's call this PR011-2A12. Dash Dash two. Oops. A2. Let's call it that. Let's get a rectangle. Let's grab it. There we go. So now let's go back to the sheet that we were before. And let's create another hyperlink to that. So there we go. We want to send it to a place, and that was PR11A2. Click OK. There we go. Hit Escape. And there, we're pointing to that sheet. So that's a quick and easy way to do it. If you have any other questions, uh, we'll try to address them in any upcoming videos. Thanks.